This lesson presents steps required to clear a controller fault. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to identify the type of fault and clear a controller fault. The controller detects three main categories of faults. Major non-recoverable fault, major recoverable fault, and minor fault. Fault types can be identified using the software or controller hardware. A major non-recoverable fault is a fault within the controller that shuts down the controller. The following changes take place when a major non-recoverable fault occurs. The controller OK LED turns solid red. Outputs change to the fault state selected in the I.O. configuration. Fault states can be on, off, or hold. And the online toolbar displays the word faulted. If a major non-recoverable fault occurs, we can attempt the following actions. Important. Ensure that all safety precautions have been followed. Alert all personnel to these activities. Clear the fault. Important. Other controllers or modules in the same chassis may still be controlling a process. Do not cycle power to these modules. Download the project to the faulted controller. Place the controller in run or remote run mode. Machine motion will begin. If the problem persists after these attempts, repair or replace the controller. A major recoverable fault is a fault that is severe enough to shut down the controller if the condition is not removed. Major recoverable faults can be of two categories. Instruction execution and other errors such as power loss or loss of critical I.O. The multitasking capabilities of the controller allow multiple major recoverable faults to be processed in the order that they occur. When a major recoverable fault caused by instruction execution first occurs, the following changes take place. A major fault bit is set in the controller, and if it exists, an optional user-programmed fault routine is executed. Program-level fault routines normally contain logic to identify a fault. Some fault routines also contain logic to remove the cause of the fault. These routines are created as normal routines and then assigned to be the program fault routine. If a fault is cleared by the fault routine, the latter program continues executing at the instruction immediately after the instruction that caused the program fault, and the controller does not enter fault mode. 